Hello everyone, welcome to our video series of interview questions. In this video, I will explain how we can create various gates using NAND gate. Since NAND gate is a universal gate, any Boolean expression or any digital logic gate can be implemented or designed by only using NAND gate. By the end of the video, we will be able to learn how we can create any Boolean expression using NAND gate. Now we will start with our basic gates. So first I will explain how we can design our NAND gate using NAND gate. So here I will explain two ways. First by analyzing our truth table and second by analyzing the Boolean expression. So here is a truth table of NAND gate. If we analyze this, we can see whenever both the input of NAND gate are same, that is when the input are 0, 0, our output is inverted of that input. Similarly, when the input are 1, 1, this is also same, the output is 0, which is inverted of our input 1. And the requirement of our NAND gate is this only, that our output should be inverted of our input. So here we can see that we can realize our NOT gate by NAND gate if we connect, if we give same input to both the input ports of our NAND gate. Now we'll see the same thing by analyzing our Boolean expression also. So while analyzing the Boolean expression, our main goal will be to convert this A dot B to A so that it will have a functionality of NOT gate. So how we can do that? The first way is we can give the second input as A only. So when A is multiplied by multiplied with A, it gives A only, which is nothing but our NOT gate itself. So whenever we tie both the inputs to the same input signal, we'll get the inverted output, invert, invert, we'll get the output as the inverted value of that input. Now the other way to do this is if we give our second input as 1, so A will be multiplied with 1. And if we multiply anything with 1, it gives same only. So A dot 1 will be A only. So the other way is we can give our second input as 1 and our output will be inverted of our input signal A. So next we will see how we can realize our buffer gate using NAND gate. So if we see for buffer gate latches the input as it is to the output. So our output will be same as input. That is why is equals to input signal A. So here what we can do is if we apply two NOT gate after this, will it have any impact? No. The first input NOT gate will cancel the effect of the second NOT gate. So A double bar is same as A. So if so our buffer can be realized if we connect two NOT gates back to back. And in our previous slide, we learned that NOT gate can be realized using NAND gate. So if we connect two NAND gates back to back, our buffer will be designed. So this is how we can design our buffer gate using NAND gate. Now let's come to our next gate that is AND gate. So this is a truth table of AND gate. So first we'll see the symbol of AND gate. So here in the symbol of AND gate, if I again add two inverter ahead of this, will it have any impact? No, both the two inverters will cancel out the negation effect of each other. So here I can add one bubble and one inverter. This bubble basically inverts the output obtained at this port and makes our AND gate as NAND gate. And this inverter cancels out the negation effect of this bubble. Now this also can be realized using NAND gate. So our AND gate can simply realized using NAND gate by connecting two NAND gate back to back and giving the input signals as A and B. Now let's see how we can implement our OR gate using NAND gate. So OR gate is basically addition of the two input signal that is Y equals to A plus B. So this is our symbol of OR gate. 
if we add a bubble here and again add a inverter here this inverter will cancel out the effect of this bubble we'll see later how adding this bubble help us in creating this or gate using nand gate so here i have added one bubble that is i am inverting the input present at this port similarly i have added one bubble here and to neglect its effect i have added one inverter so this becomes our negative or gate negative or gate means whenever both the input given are inverted that is a bar plus b bar if we see the two table of a bar plus b bar this is same as the two table of nand gate so the functionality of our negative or gate is same as our nand gate which is pause start and this is also called as de morgan theorem that the negative or gate that is a bar plus b bar is equivalent to nand gate that is ab ka whole bar so we can again replace this negative or gate by nand gate and this also can be replaced by nand gate so here we have realized our or gate using nand gates now we'll see how we can realize our xor gate using nand gate so the equation of a x or b is a bar b plus a b bar so first we will design our xor circuit by using basic gates that is and and or gate and not gate so here a bar b is sent to a and gate to get a bar b and similarly b bar a and then we are adding this by using or gate now here if we add a bubble here we can convert this to a nand gate and to cancel the effect of the bubble we can add one more bubble here so here i have added one bubble here and one bubble here now this is our nand gate and as we saw in our previous slide that the two input inverted is same as nand gate so this can also be replaced by our nand gate so here we have realized our xor gate using nand gate but if we see the total number of nand gate used here is 5 this is not the minimum number of gates so in the next slide we will see how we can realize our xor gate using minimum number of nand gates for that we will have to use our boolean we will have to analyze our boolean expression so our major goal here will be to use this de morgan theorem for realizing our nand gate so we want this a bar plus b bar equation here if we see here we already have a bar we want b bar also to get this term in our equation so to get b bar we will add plus b dot b bar since b dot b bar is zero only and adding zero to an equation does not have any impact on the logic so we can add this similarly we already have b bar here and we want one a bar also for that we'll add a dot a bar now we can take the common signal here that is we can take b here and we'll get b bar plus a bar inside and here we can take the a and we'll get a bar plus b b bar here inside now using de morgan theorem we can convert this a bar plus b bar to ab ka whole bar now we have to convert this into nand gate this we can do by using this equation in previous slide we have seen how we can realize our or gate using nand gate here we'll do the same only but we'll try to understand here by analyzing our boolean expression so this is nothing but the or gate and this is also the same or of two input input 1 and input 2 so here this can this is equivalent to a bar bar plus b bar bar since bar bar cancel out the effect of each other now if we separate these two bars this is one input and this is second input so this becomes our this equation first input bar plus second input bar which is equivalent to first input dot second input whole bar so this equation that a plus b is equivalent to a bar dot b bar ka whole bar 
can be used here. So here, first input bar dot second input bar ka whole bar we have written in the next statement because this is equivalent to this by using this equation. So by using this, we can realize our XOR gate using NAND gate. So one gate would be required for this. Second gate would be required for A dot AB bar. And third gate would be required for B dot AB bar. And fourth NAND gate would be required for the output of these two. So here if we see the total number of NAND gate we have used is, is 4. Similarly, apart from the bubble method, which I explained in previous slide, we can use this Boolean expression method also that we can analyze our Boolean expression to break it into A dot B ka whole bar so as to convert it into a NAND gate. Now we'll see how we can convert our XNOR gate, design our XNOR gate using NAND gate. So XOR gate is nothing but the inverted of A XOR B. So if we add a one inverter ahead of the logic we have derived in the previous slide, we will get our A XOR B. So here in the previous logic only, we have added one more inverter that is NAND gate to realize A XOR B. Now in the last slide, we'll see how we can implement any given boolean expression using NAND gates. So this we'll try to understand with example of a three input majority gate. So first let's understand what is a majority gate. So for a three input majority gate, it returns true if majority of the inputs are true. Otherwise our output will be zero. So majority of the input means that at least two of the inputs are one. Two of the inputs means A dot B or B dot C or C dot A. So this we have written here. Y equals to A dot B plus B dot C plus C dot A. This is the equation of our majority gate. So we'll try to realize it using NAND gate by first designing this expression using basic gates. So here I have designed this first by first using basic gates that it that is NAND gates and OR gate. Now using the same bubble technique that we used previously, we will use here also. So to convert this AND gate to not NAND gate, we'll add one bubble here and to cancel out it effects, we'll add one more bubble here, like, like I have shown here. Similarly, we'll add one bubble here, one here, one here and one here. And we need one more bubble here to convert this negative input OR gate to NAND gate. And to cancel out your effect, we will add one extra input. Now, this, this and this can be replaced by a NAND gate. So we have realized our majority gate using NAND gate by this way. So here we will be having six NAND gates. So by using this bubble method, by, so whenever there is an AND gate, we can apply the bubble at the output. And whenever there is an OR gate, we can apply the bubble at the input to convert both as NAND gate. And, and to cancel out the effect of the bubble, we can add either an inverter or a bubble if it is a port. So this is all for today. Thank you everyone.